If this was back a centimetre, then this shoe would be absolutely dangerous. Uh, so the Endorphin Elite sits on top of Socony's Endorphin range. So at the bottom we've got the Shift, we've got the Speed, the Pro, and yeah, on top is the Elite. So it is really high performance racing shoe, neutral, uh, really light package here, coming in at a weight of 7.2 ounces or 204 grams in a men's size 9. Now, price wise, right up there. So in Australia at the moment, in the new colorways, it is the most expensive shoe or super shoe on the market. So $400 for the new colorways. This colorway, $380 in Australia. $275 in the US. Now it's light, it's one of the lighter shoes on the market. Really happy, nine out of 10. And price out of the market probably for a lot of people and imagine paying crazy dollars for this shoe and it doesn't work for you, six out of 10. Okay, so in the upper here we've got a really futuristic design uh, in the shoe. So haven't really seen a upper like this on the market, but engineered mesh it is just breathable throughout so there's holes throughout the shoe so it's just made to suck in as much air as possible the mesh itself sort of feels like it's pretty reminiscent of what you find on your fly screen on your door believe it or not uh but yeah really really race like upper uh it's got some overlays placed around the shoe just to give this uh really light mesh some structure it definitely needs that the heel counter it changes material uh, totally and it's like a canvas type uh, material uh, really really flip flimsy heel counter there so there is nothing and you can see they've got this strap that goes around the heel here which is needed because you, your foot and your heel needs to actually sit into that to lock down into something uh, padding no padding in the shoe except for this tiny little pad uh, that's just on the top of the oh, of where the Achilles sits now that is really plush it must be like a little bit of um like memory foam or something but that's quite nice i'm getting no irritation around there no irritation around the heel collar so it actually is quite nice now the toe box itself uh is a little roomy well it's got it's got actually lots of volume like it's probably medium to wide uh but yeah there is a lot of volume and you can see there the way i've got to tie it up like there is like it scrunches right up uh when i'm trying to tie up to get that to get that lockdown locked away uh, the tongue is gusseted and the tongue is just full of holes so full of holes there made for breathability and it's really nice uh, premium material so it feels sort of like it's not suede leather but it actually looks like suede leather it feels like suede leather maybe it's the Alcantara that they're using in those race car seats but really nice tongue the laces yeah they're premium premium fitting I've had no issues with those coming undone at all uh, problems that I'm running into the upper is just this part they've got some extra uh, reinforcement here or some overlays around where the toe box or where, where the toes sit and my little toe is getting some irritation just around here uh, where that material is so if they cut that little bit out then my toe would just rest against the mesh and I wouldn't get an issue there so there is a lot going on in this upper I think they just need to simplify it just a little bit uh, my only real gripes is the, the bunchiness getting the lockdown and a bit of toe rubbing here, 7.5 out of 10. Okay, so in the midsole here, Socony are using their most premium foam. It's their Power Run HG. So the, I've done a little bit of research. I know what the HG stands for. It, it's actually just high grade. So quite a boring, uh, quite a boring answer there. But stack height wise, 39.5 in the rear, 31.5 in the front, giving us a 8mm drop. Uh, within that they have got their fork carbon plate so I'll put a picture of that one up there now and the fork carbon plate obviously makes the shoe nice and rigid but it's a little bit more flexible uh, through the front of the shoe so just under the forefoot there. Uh, geometry wise really weird geometry so it's really flat on the bottom of the shoe which you don't really see and then they've got this really late stage and aggressive rocker or toe spring at the front. So that foam combined with this aggressive rocker, how does it ride? Well, it is responsive. So it's probably the most responsive foam on the market. Well, I think it is. Uh, man, it is poppy. It is snappy. It is bouncy. It is just, yeah, it's a great foam. But what's not working for me is this rocker. So it's too far forward or the toe spring's too far forward for me. 
I mentioned in the first impression video, I just wish it was back a centimeter. If this was back a centimeter, then this shoe would be absolutely dangerous. Uh, but yeah, the rocket is too far forward for me. I can't get the most out of this shoe because of that. But I can really appreciate how good this foam is. Uh, for some people, it might feel a little firm. So it feels firmer than certainly than Zoom X and certainly more than the New Balance Fuel Cell foam. Its closest resemblance, in my opinion, is uh, FF Blast Turbo from the ASICS range. So they're claiming that this foam produces a 95% energy return. I don't doubt that. Appreciate the foam. The rocket is just not working for me. 8.5 out of 10. So in the outsole here, we've got a thin layer of rubber that's covering the majority of the forefoot, as you can see there, and a little bit down here towards the outside of the heel. Uh, the only traction that you're going to get here is where you can see those holes that you can see the exposed foam. So in the dry conditions, uh, no problems at all. It's actually quite grippy. Where I think this shoe is going to come into some trouble and what I've experienced, if it's some greasy or a little bit of wet, it's going to get icy. So you just need to be wary about that. So we've got plenty of exposed there. So that's copping a bit of a, a, a bash in there, but that's fine. It's not diminishing anything. Uh, from the durability of this shoe. Wet, uh, wear wise, so on the rubber, the rubber is actually quite durable. So I've got about 100 kilometers up in this one so far. There's a little bit of uh, wear up there, a little bit of wear down here in the rubber. But apart from that and the exposed foam copying a bit of a bashing, it's actually holding up quite good. Imagine if this is your uh, marathon racing shoe or your race day shoe. You've been training 14 weeks for this moment and it's a wet race. So I don't think you're going to get the most out of your race if you're going to have a wet race and you're going to wear this shoe. So that for me is pretty disappointing in a shoe that's worth so much money. So you want a little bit more confidence in your outsole and for me that's why it's getting 7.5 out of 10. So for me, I think the best use for this one is the half marathon. I think the rocket is far too aggressive for me for a marathon. However, it's pretty much going to suit most people on any of their races that they choose to do so. So people that are going to get the best use out of this shoe are forefoot strikers that can really utilize this late stage rocker. Also, if the other super shoes are too squishy and not stable enough for you, this is a stable ride and this one might suit you as well. So other options for me, consider the Alpha Fly 1 or 2 and also the Mizuno Wave Rebellion Pro. So in summary, we are really close here to having an amazing shoe. So Sokani are onto something here with this Power Run HG foam. The most responsive foam on the market. So a few little tweaks for me and this shoe would be almost perfect. So if we can adjust this rocker just a little bit clean simplify the upper just a few little tweaks and a little bit more traction on the bottom of the shoe man the shoe would be really really dangerous so looking forward to see what Sokani come out with next and on to foams in general question for you guys which is your favorite foam out there on the market do you like your zoom x are you a power on pb man fuel cell let us know what you prefer in your super shoes anyway guys Thanks for watching again. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.